Exercise 4. Assemble a new template from components. In this section, we're going to create a new template by assembling existing components previously created in the project template library. You will create a new template by dragging and dropping the existing components into the template window to define the rail, ballast, sub-ballast layers and finally the end condition components that represent the two simple fill slopes and the cut ditch. So in the template library, <clears throat> on the templates folder, can you right click and go new template? And we're going to call this single track with cut ditch. Again, we'll need the dynamic settings window. So I'm going to go to tools, dynamic settings, set the X step to 0 0.1 and the Y step again to 0 0.1. We're not assigning any point names here because the point names are already on the components that we generated. So I'm just going to expand the components folder. And I'm just going to click on the single track ballast component. This is one we created in a previous exercise, and you'll get a preview of it down in the bottom left hand window. And I'm just going to put my cursor on the name in the components folder. I'm going to hold my left mouse button down. I'm going to drag it and place the insertion point of that template at 0, 0. And then I'm just going to hit fit view. I'm now on the dynamic settings window, I'm going to tick on the apply fixes. Now I'm just going to check what the fixes are going to be applied. So I'm going to go to tools and go to options. And you can see here on the template options, we're going to apply either a prefix or a suffix. We're just going to apply a suffix. So on the left, we're going to put type in there underscore L and for the right underscore and just go OK. Now what this will do, it will it will add those suffixes to the template that I'm going to drag into the template window. Again, I'm going to click on the sub ballast layer here and hold my left mouse button down. And as I drag it, I'm going to hold the right mouse button down and I'm going to select mirror. And this is placing both sides together. And I'm going to place it at the point which is the rail sub ballast bot CL point. Now, again, I'm just going to window in and you'll see you've just got the one point there, rail sub ballast bot CL. If there was more than one point there, you could just right click on it. And from the list, you could select merge points. I don't need to do that because it's already created. But what I do need to do is I need to merge these two components. So what I need to do is hover my cursor over that vertical line and select to merge the components. And again, at that point, I'm just going to go file and save. The last thing that we need to do is to add the end conditions. So here is our end condition. Again, just one click on it and you get a preview of it in the window. Again, just drag it into the create template window and place it at the rail sub ballast shoulder bot R point. And it'll also mirror that on the left hand side. And then just hit fit view. And there is your component uh, complete. And again, I'm just going to go file, save, and that completes exercise four. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.